Hi everyone, it's Ellen from Rhapsody, and I was just going over triads and inversions with my student Zara. And so I kind of wanted to go over with you what her what she and I did. So a triad is a three-note chord in root position. And when you see that on your music, it's either going to be written as a line, line, line note, or it's going to be written as a space, space, space note. The first note being the root, the second note being the third, and the third note being the fifth. So it's going to look like, let's say, take for example, C in root position. I'll play it down here. C, E, and G. Okay. Now, those are line, line, line notes. If you look here, this gives you an example of a line, line, line triad or a space, space, space triad. The root being the bottom note, the third being the middle note, and the fifth being the note on top. What happens when you take those three notes, and we're going to use the C chord as an example, the C major chord, and you flip them. So the only notes you can use in the C chord are C, E, and G. In the C, okay, that's a C triad in root position. Let's put the E on the bottom. We have an E, G. What are we missing? A C. We put that on top. That is our first inversion. Now we're going to take the G and make that our bottom note. We have a G, C, and what are we missing? The E. That is a C in its second inversion. So we have root position, C, E, G, first inversion, E, G, C, second inversion, G, C, E. And you can kind of see what you can do here. You could keep going keyboard with your C chord and inverting it and it opens up this whole new door for you in terms of how you play your chords. When you can invert them, you can just position them differently and it makes chord progressions, which is playing chords in a particular order, much easier. I'm going to give you an example of that too. So Let's just look at the C chord again. We have C, then we have in root position, first inversion, E, G, C, second inversion, G, C, E. Take the F chord, F, A, C. We make the A our bottom note. We need our F because we have our A and our C. Second inversion. Okay, now we're going to put C as our first note. So that means we need our F and our A. There's our second inversion. Let's take the G chord. G, B, D is root position. Here is our first inversion. B, D, G. G has flipped to the top. Now we're going to make D our bottom note. And we're going to have D, G, B. Second inversion. And we're going to land back on our C chord. But it is in our second inversion position, okay, which is E, G, C. That's all I'll do for now. This is page 18, okay, triads and inversions in the Bastion Level 2 Blue Book. It really explains triads, inversions, how they work, how they look on your music and on the keyboard, and that is it for this lesson. I hope it helped anybody learning about triads and inversions. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.